I've used the Ursa Mini on like, I don't know, like 10, 15 projects since I got it about a month ago. The top, like, I don't know, five things that drive me crazy. Number one is the LCD. The LCD is small, compact, it's great. Two, what, what? Okay, the LCD does not flip all the way around. For this type of camera, this is like a single operator camera's dream, and so the reason it, the, why it doesn't flip all the way forward is ridiculous. I hate that. Second thing, is screen burn-in. Uh, screen burn-in, it's driving me crazy. The overlays, like a hard edge, like behind somebody or on a white wall, and there's a lot of contrast, and then you switch to a different scene, you will see for probably at least 10 minutes that hard edge in your image, and that's totally unacceptable. So there's been a few weird things with the audio as far as the actual hard clicks um, I've had some really weird situations where if I want to change from phantom power to um, from mic to line to AES, um, you can't do any of those live. You need to set your levels, set everything. Um, um, it would be nice to have a hard stop or at least it's kind of a rinky dink system. Um, it's nice because you can still kind of change your levels, but if you're changing it, why? I absolutely love the false color. It's amazing. I wish you could punch in past 2x. I've also noticed some fixed pattern noise. It seems to be going away. I don't know if like the sensor is breaking in, but I've seen it less. Oh, I really wish that there was a way to access the menu from the LCD. The stills function is awesome on the new firmware. 12 megapixels, so it's like a it's not the full sensor width that uh, the 4.6K is, but it's pretty good size. It's a DNG still. It puts it in its own folder, so that's nice. You can open it in Lightroom. And the other thing I hate about playback, on the playback, if you are shooting over cranked and then you go back to shooting at uh, 24 frames per second and you go to look at those over cranked images, you have to change your settings, the exact settings that you shot in, or you won't be able to view it. I wish there was just a line so you could scrub really quickly through um, your shot for playback for clients. Other than that, like camera has been awesome. The battery life is awesome. I've shot a half day, like nonstop, not turning the camera off on two 95 watt batteries. I haven't shot a lot in raw because my workflow is not set up for that. I mostly shoot in UHD or 2K. Um, and I usually shoot in either 444 or 422, and I've been super happy with the results. So I will post up some of the images and stuff that I've shot on some of the past projects the last month. And if you have any other comments or questions, call Black Magic because I'm no expert.